but I'm about to talk about what I love about Final Cut Pro 10, why I use it and why it's my first chosen video editor that I go to if I need to complete a video editing task. You're about to find out, let's talk about it and let's get into it man. Yo, let's join forces, hit the subscribe button. So we're going to count down the top 5 things that I love about Final Cut Pro 10. Coming in at number 5 is the workspace. So the first thing is the workspace and the fact that you can change this to suit your style of editing or to make it easier for the task that you're trying to complete. What I mean by the workspace is everything that you can see within the editor while you're using Final Cut Pro 10. For example, this on the left here is the browser. You're going to see me completely get rid of my browser by clicking on this icon on the top right hand side of the editor and that will get rid of the browser. If you'd like to know more about what you can do with your workspace so that you can change your workspace to suit a task that you're trying to complete or to suit your editing technique and style then check out the video that I have on my channel on workspaces and that will take you through the basics of editing and changing your workspace to suit your needs. At number four is the drag and drop import feature. So the drag and drop technique for importing your media to Final Cut Pro 10 is a real time saver. I have my browser open so you can see exactly what's going on and we're going to be dragging to the timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit full screen mode in Final Cut Pro. You can see that I already have the location of the files that I want to import here to the left. You won't have that, it would look like this. All you need to do is drag this over so you can see your desktop or the folder that you want to see. Then when you've found the file that you want or have it in place already, you just simply drag that into the timeline. For example, here in this video, this is a Fortnite video where I'm using the Fusion skin. I'm just gonna drag this straight into the timeline. There's the media ready to be dropped. You can see the green plus sign and when I stop clicking and I let go of the click, drops into the timeline. It's then ready to be rendered and you can also see this within the browser. So let's go back to Final Cut Pro and you can see exactly what's going on. Then if you want to find out how long it's going to take to import, if it's going to take quite a while, you can click on this icon here, this circle, that's your loading icon. It tells you what jobs are completing within the background. You can see that it's actually loading up the thumbnail and waveforms that's basically what it looks like within your timeline and the waveforms is how the sound is is in your timeline it's basically just showing you what the sound is and then it's importing the media entirely now this is a fairly big video so it could take quite a long time but obviously there is another longer way to import your media which is to go through the import window where you press file you go import then you click on what you want to import in our case we're talking about media then you would find the location of your file after you found the location of your file you would also have to select if you want optimize and proxy media you only have to do this once if you're using the drag and drop method as it will save whatever settings you have here then when you use drag and drop it would actually import it in the exact same way you would have imported last so the last time you imported it doesn't even matter if it's the same project, it can be a different project file. The last time you imported those settings will be how your drag and dropped media will be imported. So if you did not have create optimized media and create proxy media and the last time you imported through the import window, then you don't have to worry about it for the next one if you're doing it in the exact same way. Coming in at number three is one of the most used features of any Final Cut Pro series editor and that is the inspector window the inspector window is so useful when you're editing within final cut pro 10 unlike other editors or cheaper editors you actually do not have an entire window dedicated to the changes you can make to a piece of media within your timeline most of the time it's tucked away somewhere you can't find it it's horrible and you also won't be able to do this little nifty thing which is changing the size of that window so you can see more of the information you need to make changes to your media within your timeline that is why i absolutely really do love the inspector window and it also is already built for most of the tasks that you will be completing with this software so for example if we're here and i add an effect uh, let's say black and white for example to the start of this Fortnite video you can see that it's already applied but it's automatically showing me where this is and 
I can then just show the properties and I can change the effect accordingly within the same inspector window. It's not populated elsewhere, it's all there. So everything that I would make a change to in terms of this video will be in that inspector window. And you can also just click on these icons, then you're moving on to the color board and moving on to the sound editing properties. Everything is within that window when you're making a change to a selected piece of media. And that is why the inspector window is absolutely brilliant within Final Cut Pro 10. It's because it's very convenient, it's very easy to use and does save you a heck of a lot of time. You don't have to go searching for things <laughs> in order to make an edit. Coming in at the high second spot of number two is third party plugins. Third party plugins can really be a lifesaver, especially when you're trying to create a specific effect that you cannot do in a short space of time. Third party plugins I talk about on my channel quite often. So if you're looking for any free third party plugins or new plugins for you to download and ideas and things that you can actually use in order to earn money as a video editor freelancer, those plugins I talk about on my channel. So if you're looking for any plugins, of course I have a playlist for you and you can find that here in the cards above. Coming in at number one is the thing that sets Final Cut Pro 10 apart from other video editors and by far one of the best attributes when using this chosen software or editing platform for your video or media editing and that is the updates. I cannot tell you how many features are updated and improved with updates and if you enable this feature to automatically update your Final Cut Pro 10 you don't have to worry about things being taken away because most likely in every case that I've seen when things are being updated with Final Cut Pro 10 it is just improvements it is just fixing bugs and it's just adding extra features for example 360 video editing was not available in the way that it is available now with Final Cut Pro 10 back in 2014 but now you can actually edit 360 video and that was added as an update to Final Cut Pro 10. I've also created a 360 video on my channel and you can actually check that out and it should be up in the cards above as well. I have much more content on my channel it's well worth hitting the subscribe button if you want to learn more about editing of any form. Video editing, picture editing, media editing, those sort of things I talk about here on my channel and Final Cut Pro 10 has been a theme and a software that we have looked at quite often on this channel. So if you've enjoyed this video and you relate to any of the features that I've just spoken about as to the five reasons why I love Final Cut Pro 10, then give me a thumbs up. Or if you've learned anything at all, what have you learned? Hit me up in the comment section down below. Is there something that you want to see here on my channel? I upload content about three specific subjects, gaming, editing, and software. Ooh.